Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be going over your go tool contact layer. But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel grow. So let's get started. So the Yergo tool is a conformable, flexible, non-inclusive, non-adherent contact layer that's, comply, that's comprised of a lipocolloidal matrix that's impregnated into a fine polyester mesh. So the lipocolloidal matrix, it does form a gel in the presence of wound exudate to provide a moist interface between the wound and the dressing. This helps reduce and eliminate pain at uh, dressing change and minimize the damage to newly formed tissue. It does have a gentle tack to help the dressing hold in place, but it does require a cover dressing um, because the exudate will go through it up into the cover dressing and it can stay on for up to seven days. So indications for this dressing. So it is for partial and full thickness wounds with low to moderate amounts of exudate because it is going to keep moisture there um, when it forms that gel. That's what we're trying to um, get with this is that we're, we're keeping the moisture so then when we go to pull it off, it's not causing any damage. Um, so this is low to moderate amounts of exudate. Um, it may be used as an interface um, for negative pressure wound therapy, and it may be used on mobile joints. So like an elbow, a knee, it can be used on those areas. Uh, precautions, there was nothing noted by the manufacturer and contraindications, uh, just don't use for anyone who has a sensitivity or allergy to any of the dressing components. So first we're going to cleanse or irrigate the wound with normal saline and we're going to dry the peri wound tissue. Anytime we irrigate, we always want to dry the peri wound tissue. And then we're going to select a size of this dressing that covers the entire wound. Now it can overlap onto the peri wound, that's perfectly fine, or you can fit it to size. I personally, when I can overlap dressings onto the peri wound, I always do um, because then it tends to come off a lot easier. That's just in my experience, but you can do either here in this case. Um, so when you go to use this, um, you have your gloves on. Now latex gloves um, are perfectly fine or you can moisten your latex gloves with sterile saline. It just helps with the stick a little bit because it does tack a little bit. So um, if you just moisten with a little bit of saline, it doesn't stick to the gloves. Um, remove the protective coating from both sides because there is a uh, plastic coating on both sides and you can apply it to the wound bed. Um, and once again, it can overlap onto healthy tissue. And then you're just going to put a cover dressing over top of this to maintain a moisture balanced wound. So to remove this dressing, you're just going to use your forceps and just gently remove it from the wound. The frequency of dressing change, so it can stay in place for seven days. Um, so the exit will go through um, to the cover dressing, you can change that cover dressing as needed and leave the contact layer in place. Okay, this is perfectly fine to leave that contact layer in place for the full seven days and just change that cover dressing. Now the expected outcome is that we have a moist wound environment and no pain is present on removal of this dressing. Um, once again, there is different sizes here. So I did add the different sizes and formats that it comes in and um, it can overlap onto the peri wound tissue. So that's all I have for this video. And if you haven't smashed that subscribe button, if you could do that now, that would be greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you all in my next video. See you guys.